Hey everyone, it's my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my card and a cuppa for Friday afternoon. Now first of all I have to apologise for the noise outside. We have a massive excavator going on next door and a young couple are filling in a very old pool. Um, so I know that sounds funny saying that there's an excavator but they've had to demolish it and then they've had to pull out all concrete walls it was an above ground pool that was sunk into the ground so they're pulling out the slab concrete walls that were around supporting the aluminium side of the pool or something so I apologize for the noise going on so on outside but mostly with my videos there's always some sort of noise <laughs> Rosie however is currently asleep in her bed so maybe she'll be quiet for this video so let me go over to um, my Facebook page and make sure I'm live in the right place so let's just bear with me for a minute while I do that <clears throat> and I hope the noise isn't too much they've had lots of um what we used to call smokers but then of course they decided just to start up again <laughs> just as I wanted to do my video okay so it looks like I'm live in the right place hi Margaret how are you <laughs> so that's a good thing I'm live in the right place now um, I had a request from somebody who was actually in the States she saw the little books I've made for my um, market that I'm doing tomorrow and she wanted to know if I had a tutorial and I said no I don't <laughs> Are they your doggies? What sort of doggies are they, Margaret? Paddington and Tegan. Oh, I love Paddington's name. That's a cool name. I like that name. <laughs> Hello, Kath. <laughs> you got my reply about buying a single catalogue? Um, okay, so yeah, I had a request from this lady over in the States that wanted to see how I made these little notebooks. So I thought, let's do card and a cuppa and make a notebook. So let's flip over to my craft desk and we can get started okay <clears throat> I don't know how bad the noise is coming from outside but anyway we'll just we'll just bear with it okay so these are all the little notebooks that I've put together for my market tomorrow I've used the fancy flora design oh, move it down Denise fancy flora designer series paper um, retired ribbon and doilies and stuff like that um, and I've used also used the by the bay designer series paper because that has also retired so I still had a stack of that left so I thought let's, let's make, make the most of this paper um, they're just like a little cute notebook and I went to Kmart and I bought these pens that came in six packs and I also bought pencils as well so they've worked really well and some of them I noticed which I didn't realize at the time have got a little saying written on it and that one says just start so I put that with follow your dreams so let me go here <clears throat> hi Deb um, I also used some very old designer series paper. I can't even remember the name of it, but it matched the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set back in the day. So they're my little notebooks all packaged up, ready to go. <clears throat> and let me turn my light on. It might be a bit bright at first, but then it will settle down. Yeah. Okay, so here's a couple um, that I've got. This one I wasn't happy with where how I stapled it, so I thought this can be my sample one. So basically you use two pieces of six by six designer series paper. And then I have um I went to Base Warehouse and I bought this craft paper pad. Um as you can see I've used it all up. So this is what it looks like. And it's just slightly thicker than copy paper, but you can use copy paper, photocopy paper. I did put some vanilla photocopy paper in a couple of mine. So I've got to hang on to that in case I need to buy more. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then at the back, 
there's just this little pocket that you could tuck what's something I can tuck in there let's find something I can tuck in it's like for memory and more cards or whatever you'd like to do it Americans are very big on their journaling and stuff like that but you can tuck a little thing in so I thought you could tuck receipts in there not that people these days get receipts I'm old school I get receipts <laughs> but anyway the young people don't get anything <laughs> so and I've virtually I've just put a strip of um, ribbon down the, the join um, vellum circle or whatever and a, a sentiment you can tell you need is confidence and lots of coffee that's a good sentiment um, some of them have just got just a note on them but that's what they look like now the girl I got this um, little sample book off um, is called lyric lovers she's on YouTube she's got a YouTube website or YouTube channel um, she used she cut her paper down to six to be six inches wide and I actually think I like it a little bit smaller because to me this one so I don't like this one this is a reject <laughs> this one hangs over just the slightest bit because I couldn't keep it straight when I stapled it so next time I make them I'm going to get my <coughs> my paper and I'm just going to cut it in half like so which actually works out to be five and three quarters and it just gives you that little bit of room if it's not um, completely lined up like this one it won't hang over so that's what I'm going to do next time this time I've got what's left over is five just over five and a half so I'm going to use that because I'm not going to waste it so there that's what they look like so I'll put those to one side <clears throat> and I'm going to I hope you got your cuppa I've got coffee it's nearly nearly done and it's a bit cold but then it's just iced coffee isn't it <laughs> so I use six by six designer series paper for this for these ones but you can cut 12 by 12 designer series paper down so I figured that's what we'll do today using this beautiful current product and I'll just double check if that's six by if that's six yes that's six I can use that way so I'll use the little piece so this is the countryside in designer series paper in the catalogue I love this paper I've got a fancy fold class Saturday week using this paper um, I have ordered the paper for the class attendees but if you wanted to add your name to it I can always add the paper to another order I might not get it in time but I can always do that so I'm just going to trim this down to be six by six or six inches and then I'm going to cut it in half at six inches so that gives me two pieces of six by six just like as if I was using a six by six designer series paper pack so cutting blade way out of the way then you've just got to decide which one you want to be your front of your little book yeah this one's probably easiest um, the inside will be pretty as well and that's the bonus but if you are using a one-way design like the foxes you don't want to score or cut it and make the foxes stand on their head so that's just a little tip if you're doing a one-way design be careful of that so we have to score it at four and a half inches and I'm just if I turn it up this way we'll have the foxes on the back and coming round the front cutting blade completely out of the way and get your scorer let's make sure I've done this right and my foxes won't be standing on their heads if it's not a one-way design it doesn't really matter yay I got my foxes right <laughs> so that's the back of your little book and that's the front and then with this one we're going to cut it at four and a half inches
<laughs> just wanted to double check before I took the plunge and you turn that around and you just slide it in like that and this piece will become your little pocket at the back of your book so let's get rid of our trimmer because I don't believe I need that again but then <clears throat> sometimes I tell tell lies and I do end up needing it again <laughs> Okay, so this is your little book. That's a six by six piece of paper scored at four and a half inches. And just, and then we're going to use our other piece that was cut at four and a half inches and pop it in like so. So you've just got to work out whether you want to use tape, whether you want to use um, glue. I'm going to use double sided tape. I found that worked best because that goes under there we don't want that and I just thought this would be a cute little addition to my stall tomorrow at the at the markets um, in the hope that oh, I don't want the spatula end so this is your take your pick tool it's a really great tool if you don't have one you need one oh they're toy poodles Margaret oh, my little rose is a toy cavoodle <laughs> uh, toy poodles are pretty cute her daddy was a toy poodle okay so yes if you don't have a take your pick, 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 blah, pick tool it's one of the best tools in our catalogue I'd say that and the paper trimmer are the two best tools okay so now just butt it up to your score line and fold it over and hopefully you haven't mismatched it and I haven't it's a miracle <laughs> it's a miracle now this one's got to go in here um, as the little pocket so you want to put glue on the back on three sides <coughs> or tape I think I'll go with tape and you just want to make sure that you're putting it on the side yes that your foxes won't be standing on their heads again <clears throat> so my little Rosie was up on top of my she managed to jump up on my chair and get on top of my craft desk to look out the window to see what was going on in the neighbor's property next door cheeky girl and then she couldn't get down <laughs> so I walked into my room and there she was and she couldn't get down <laughs> little possum okay so just put that there lining it up on the edges and that forms your little pocket <laughs> for the receipts that people no longer get now this is a very old corner rounder that I have um, if you've got the old envelope punch board that would work I'm just getting out some from all the ones I've made because there we go I think that came out so I corn I rounded all the corners on my um my little notebook so I'm just going to pop that in there and round these corners Um, Stamping Up used to sell a corner rounder. I don't know if we've got one. There might be one in one of those trio punches or something. So that's my cover. So then I've got six pages of this paper. So I'm going to get three of them. <coughs> Do three at a time. Um, and just round the corners on these make sure I get it in straight good they're stopped with the digger or the excavator thing now so that's good so that's those three and then I've got the other three <coughs> yay
Okay. So then with our paper, it's like a craft paper, if that makes any sense. We have got, oh, I don't know if we still do. We did have six by six craft paper, but that wouldn't really have worked because it would fold over to be much shorter. It was in last year's catalogue. I don't know if that craft paper carried over. I'll have to have a look. And now I'm just getting my bone folder and increasing my pages to my notebook. So this girl in America, the she, <clears throat> her name is Amber and her channel is Lyric Lovers. She does lots of things for craft fairs um, over, over in America because I think craft fairs are big over there. <clears throat> okay, so now you just put all your pages inside each other. Because this is a little bit smaller than my, I think that's better. I think I've discovered a better way. <laughs> so <clears throat> this was just over five and a half. So if I cut this paper, this A4 sheet in half, it'll be five and three quarters. So it'll be, it'll have like that much of a border. And I think that will be better for future ones that I make. Okay. <clears throat> now, the only other thing I bought to do to make these <laughs> um, is I bought a long arm stapler. Now I did go to Officeworks and they were about $65 and I thought I don't want to pay that much. <laughs> and I found them online at Harvey Norman for $25. I found it online at Harvey Norman for $25 so that's what I did. <laughs> Lord Paddington. He was the top stud for a breeder. Wow. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that's so cute. Lord Paddington. I like that. <laughs> now the digger started up again next door. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold it all together. If you're wanting to be very pedantic, I could get some paper clips, some big paper clips to help me with this, just in case. It's probably a good idea. Okay, so then you put it in and you've got to make sure you know where your score line is. Did I just bugger that up? I think I did. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, I'm not going to use the paper clips. I'm going to going to wing it. The darker the, uh, paper is harder to see where the score line is. So that's a little trap for young players. So you just staple it on the score line in three spots. Now let's see how we went. <laughs> see how we went. And we just, when you fold it over, you book over, get your bone folder and just go like that. We didn't do too bad. Look at that. And then you've got your pocket. Okay, so now it's just a matter of um, embellishing, trimming it up. So, I thought I'd use some boho blue ribbon on this one. Make sure my foxes are definitely the right way up. They are. And I'm going to use some boho blue ribbon. Now, if 
if you want your ribbon not to fray, you need to have a cigarette lighter on hand and just scorch the end of it. <laughs> that scares the bajingos out of some people. <laughs> but it's okay, it does scare me. Okay, so I shall get my tape again. I'm just going to put a strip of that down on the join. And get my ribbon. And put that <coughs> over the top. And if you've done it a fraction too long, you can just trim it down like so. So that's our little booklet. Now I shall get my little pack box of bits and bobs. And I've got one of these decorative circles that I've punched out in vellum. <coughs> I'm going down Linda's path with um, her vellum circles. <laughs> I like them. She shouldn't stop doing them. Okay, don't have anything else in there that I want to use, I don't think. No, I don't. Oh, we could. We could. Let's try something different. And I'll grab my circle sign. <clears throat> there we go. Let's just do smile. I think. Let's do the flowers. Although I've already hmm. I don't know if I'll do whether this will work so well for me, but anyway, let's just go. Let's give it a whirl. And United Navy. Probably need to do this with the. Uh, yes, let's do it on some white cardstock <coughs> and get the two and three eighths circle punch to match the stamp set. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So this is Night of Navy Ink. <laughs> um, they are a nice little gift. I thought that when I saw them. I thought you could just tuck that into your handbag and just have it handy and it would be good. So let's the flowers and did you know that these flowers can go I'll try not to bring my head in so I'll have to bring it down a fraction if you can sort of make the circle with them does that make sense oh my head came in a bit sorry so you can make a circle with the circle sayings <laughs> makes sense doesn't it okay Oh, I just realised I haven't put my phone on silent. So far, okay. Uh, smile, that's the one we chose to do. And just going to pop that in the middle, like so. <coughs> really easy little gift to Margaret. So then... I'm going to get my punch and line it up. I love a punch bundle. It's so good. Punch it out. Um, like so. And I might just... Look, I've got a little bit over here. Um, I might just put 
Is it a big enough piece though? That's the question. Oh yeah, that works. I'm just trying to work out where I want to put it. There. And get my tape. And I'll get my scissors and just trim that little bit back. There we go. <coughs> I need my cold coffee again. Hi, Colette. So that is that. And we shall get some dimensionals for the back of our circle. I wonder if I should add a vellum circle. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually. I think this is too big. <coughs> for all my vellum circles that I've got in here. <coughs> oh, silly voice. Yeah, see, that's too big. No, let's not worry about our vellum circle. <laughs> but I do like the way Linda does vellum circles. Just softens it. So I'm just going to pop that right there. And get down some bling. <clears throat> so I use retired products on all my other ones that I was making um, because I didn't need to. Um, I didn't need to. Is that boho blue? I think it is. Rather than going with, no, I think I'll go with these ones. These ones are from the Daisies the um, cheerful daisy sweet these adhesives adhesive back solid, solid gems so I think I shall use these and I might put one here and there's three sizes small, medium and large and I might put one here and then I might put one over here. So that is how I made my little notebooks. They're really cute. Let me just clear up a bit. <coughs> Get rid of my punch. Put it over here. So yeah, that's how I made my little notebooks. So they're so easy and they're just a little tiny notebook. Something you can just tuck in your handbag. Um, and have on hand if you wanted to make a note and people these days write it all in their phones <laughs> um, the other way you could do the instead of the stapling if you had I think it's called an awl um, you could poke holes and you could use a, a baker's twine or the linen thread and sort of sew the binding I didn't want to do that <laughs> stapler was easier so that is my card and a cup for today i hope you guys enjoyed seeing how i made those little books and how they come together and how it's super easy they are so two pieces of six by six one is scored at four and a half inches and one is cut at four and a half inches the one that's cut the cut one and a half inch goes on the back inside cover to make a little pocket for receipts <laughs> or journal cards or whatever you want to do with it um, then you just slide the four and a half inch size piece back into the spine to the score line and attach it and that's pretty much it that's the cover made decorate it with some ribbon stamps some bling and if you really wanted to get carried away you could even go in and stamp some of your pages but I haven't done that so that's my card and a cuppa for today. Let me see if I can flip back to my face. Ah! <laughs> so that's my card and a cuppa for today, ladies. I hope you enjoyed that. And it's a really simple little notebook to put together. Great little gifts for people or for markets. Um, yeah, just something different to do. Different to a card. So I have to get on now and... I have to make my husband's birthday card. His birthday's on Sunday, so I'd better do that next. 
um, and then I want to make the samples of my next few classes so I can have them displayed tomorrow at the markets. So I've got a busy afternoon. So I hope you have a great rest of the day. The sun is shining here. I hope you can get out and have a little walk if you can. Um, and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.